Welcome back, welcome back. Um, today we are doing a new plugin review and the plugin today is called Sliding Doors. Now, Sliding Doors is basically, if we can imagine, Star Trek um, doors on the Space Enterprise, the way they would shut open left to right. So the advantage of this obviously is that doors that normally swing into your face or swing away from you, if you try to do a honeycomb base, that is so annoying. You have doors in your face all day. Just, you know what I'm saying. The annoyance of having a honeycomb and trying to get through the middle of your base has always been an annoying factor. So this, this plugin helps uh, solve that problem. So I'm going to show you what I mean first of all by showing you the uh, original way that it would have worked. Um, here we go. So originally um, you would build your honeycomb style base, kind of like this, whatever. And then you'd go in and then you'd have to open that door and then you'd have to kind of open that door and then you kind of, oh yeah, yeah, I'm already it's starting to be really annoying already, as you can see. So you have to open that one, then move to that one, and walk in, open that one, that shoves you around, and then you, you get the idea, you know. I mean, we all, we all know this problem. Some bases just, the way they're set up, you know, it's just this honeycomb thing is just, it's kind of frustrating to get through your base. It takes a little while, you end up doing this, and have to wait for that one, and it glitches, etc., etc. Okay, so basically, the way sliding doors works, okay, is... It's very simple. I'll show you actually around here because I've already built something already. So that whole annoyance factor is one of the main reasons this plugin is great. But there's other reasons too, which I'll show you shortly. So this is the theory. So I've already set these doors up as slide doors. So as you can see here, it looks like a normal door. When I hit open, that oh, second, I think I've just uh, chosen the wrong bit. Okay, well, I'll just do it. So the command is S door. It says sliding door enabled. Now, now I hit this button, door now slides left and right. Okay. So you can see that that's the advantage. Now, I don't know why, but for some reason, these doors seem to all reset. It's just really frustrating. Okay. okay. I think you've already worked out the, the benefit of this plugin straight away. So you can see immediately how much easier it is to get through this base now. So just move them all shut. So I want to get through my honeycomb. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, some of these haven't changed. We get the idea. So you can see how much easier it is to walk through your base now with a the honeycomb. They work, they work exactly the same as normal doors. You can still use a code lock. Um, you can still. It's just the work like normal doors. It's just, you can just change the door into this type of uh, door anytime you want. You're just walking up to it and typing S door, forward slash S door. So um, that's the first thing I want to show you. So you can see how the advantage of that immediately. That's really nice. It's real simple. All you got to do is just walk up to the door, type S door, bang, you've got a sliding door. Now, the next thing I want to show you is just it's a, another way you could use it. So over here, for example, you can see someone I built earlier. So let's just say you want to get around your base normally and you don't have honeycomb. It's still beneficial to uh, have it like this, even in a straight corridor. As you can see, I can get right through my base a lot quicker than I normally would. Much, much quicker. And um, so even on straight setup bases, you can see the, you can see exactly how it's working. It's super simple. Okay. And that is, I mean, you ain't gonna run through the base that quick normally, okay. Now, the last thing I wanna show you, this is a very short video, because there's not much to this. It's just a slight door plugin. The next video I want to show you is something pretty clever. So this is also a kind of defense style base thing I built earlier. First thing I want to show you, which you can probably see straight away, is the doors can also be ajar slightly. So I can shut it. I can stop it. If I hit open and then open again, I can stop it. And obviously the advantage of that is that this door is still locked. If somebody comes running up to this door, and the door's like this, they can't get in, but I can shoot them. And I can also just quickly shut or open the door. I can also just do a little gap. And I just peek through the door, and I, what I've done here is you can see I've done a bunch of different different angles. I can leave if I want to leave, but I can also just let's say I want to snipe, do a sneaky snipe, you see a little tiny little gap. Bang, you get yourself a little sneaky thing. Again, the Raider, Raider cannot come in. He can shoot you, but you can't come in. But it gives you an advantage that you wouldn't normally have with doors. Like, yeah, you've got hatches. I know you're going to say you've got hatches, and um, you do, but there's a certain height restriction here. You know, you can only see, I can only see there. 
fuck that. I want to see the whole outside the whole place. So much better. So you can see the advantage straight away. So that's like a so that's an idea here. You could have like a base like this where all these doors are sliding, and then you can have a bunch of your guys defending this. And then, as you can see, obviously you could just somebody comes around here, you can open the door quickly, pop, pop, pop. You know, open that one. You get the idea. So that's some of the advantage of this plugin. Pretty simple plugin. This plugin is only ten dollars to buy. It's not a free plugin. Um, as usual, the better plugins are cost a little bit of money. But to be perfectly honest with you, it's, at the end of the day. This for nine dollars ninety nine um, is so worth it because the whole it changes the whole game. It's something that is going to affect everybody every day, all day on the server. You know, it's not one of these little stupid things like an event or an event thing where it's just going to affect people that are, want to go and do some PvP in an event. It's going to actually be interesting for build, a lot of builders. A lot of builders are going to come up with genius ideas with this. There's those different ways you could use this, I'm sure. And that's pretty much the quick, simple plugin review. And uh, this plugin is written by Red Badger. You can get it on Chaos Code. All the information is in the info panel below um, in the video. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe or like as usual. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye now.